Denver's real estate market has been active all year, but this is traditionally the time many people like to spruce up their home if they're planning to sell. Real estate experts say there's still time to reap the benefits of a low inventory market, which can mean multiple offers and selling for over your asking price. But it's what you do before the sign goes into the yard that can really make the difference. Our real estate expert, Lane Lyon, who is a managing broker with Coldwell Banker, joins us live with some advice for home sellers. Good morning, Lane. Hey, good morning, Corey. Nice to see you. Always nice to see you. Okay, so we know homes are selling at lightning speed right now, but you say it's important to prep your home even in today's market. Absolutely. It's hard to imagine hearing that some buyers are picky out there, but some home buyers are picky and it's because they're spending so much money. So the work you do before going on the market can really make a difference. Big time. So let's talk about that. You have some examples of what to do to help your home show the best. Right, kitchens and baths sell homes, and I want to tell the director to hang on just a second before putting this first photo up, because I want to set it up. <laughs> uh, the sellers of the home you're about to see are budding bakers. They love to cook, they love to bake, so they had mixers out, coffee maker, butcher block of knives. They had a lot of equipment out on their counters, so when the professional photographer came over, go up and put up the photo now, you can see what their home ended up looking wow. like. All <laughs> off. I'm a big fan of clearing everything off. Show off the space, the materials. Look at those beautiful granite countertops that we can see now. And I do have a one appliance rule, Corey. If you have to have the coffee maker out, okay, you can leave that one out. <laughs> Let's go to the next uh, photo here, which is the bathroom. Same goes there. When that professional photographer arrives, have all the personal products away, the trash cans put away, anything plugged in, put away, all those products, colognes, whatever. Put them underneath, mm -hmm. clear off. Bear is getting there is what I like to say. And think mm. model home. Some of your home buyers may be coming to your home after seeing a model home. So this is what they want to see. Let's go outside right now. Next photo here. It's almost as important as the inside photos right now. The person selling this home. Okay, it's my home. I could admit we're getting ready to sell too. But we brought in all that mulch right there. Just fresh mulch really kind of made things look nice and bright. Okay, one more photo for you. This next one here, this house went under contract in the metro area 24 hours. The seller hired uh, a college kid to mow the lawn and then painted the door red. Isn't that, doesn't that just pop out that right there? We can't disclose what the contract price is, but the seller says she was amazed what someone was willing to pay. All the sellers gave us permission to show you these photos. But I have to say, as we come back live here, that painting the door red was the one thing that I heard that the buyers liked the most, huh. and it doesn't cost a lot of money. There's a study out there that painting your front door can get you $6,000 more on an offer. Wow. I haven't seen the studies on that, but I do think it can really help presenting a great product right now is what it's all about. It's that first impressions thing. And we yeah. did all of the things that you mentioned when we staged our home as well. All the appliances off, all the personal stuff, the yep. trash cans outside, the whole deal. And it does really make it pop and it stands out. You also say you don't have to spend a lot of money. Even cleaning closets can really help. I'm guessing you did this too. Uh -huh. I have a phrase, thin by half. So go to your closets, start thinning by half. You don't need all those sweaters in there right now, those sweatshirts, pack them away. Same goes for the pantry, thin by half there as well. And a colleague of mine says her favorite is clear off the top of the refrigerator. You know where those cereal boxes are because you don't have room for them. Mm -hmm. We don't need to advertise. We don't have a lot of storage <laughs> in the kitchen. So clear off the fridge, just a little tip there. Yes, make it look like there's a lot more space than maybe there is. And yes. then. Real quick, I know those virtual tours were so important when showings were really shut down during COVID. Do you think that those are still necessary? I do, and the reason is, Corey, people are doing a lot of homework before they're getting to your home. Mm -hmm. They're studying, they're taking the virtual tour because once they get there, they may not have a lot of time. They might have to make a decision very quickly. Sometimes it's a 15 minute showing, sometimes it's putting in an offer that day. There's no sleeping on it. So the more looking around they can do before they physically get there, the better. And we are in a very hot selling summer season. So just go out there and take advantage of the low interest rates. All that sign that said, oops, too late. That's like the story of my life. All right, Lane, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Have a it. great day. Bye.